Well, I'm ready to collapse. I got out of bed at two by six o'clock I was ready to just fall over there's no way I had four hours of sleep I probably didn't even have three I actually am sorry I put makeup on I have to wash my well I always wash my face anyways it just seems like a waste of makeup I am so tired. It's effort to breathe and it's hard to be alive. I'm going to watch the videos that I made yesterday and I'm probably going to bawl because I'm probably going to cry seeing how good I felt yesterday. And I can't believe <laughs> that I'm back in, in the fight. You know what I'm seeing in here? You know what I'm noticing in the house? There are bugs getting in the house somewhere and I don't know, I don't know where. I was laying in bed last night with the covers like right on my face and I look, I don't have my glasses on, but I look like right up to my face, there's a bug standing on the blanket. Looking like, uh, like, uh, one inch from my face. And I screamed and flung it off and then couldn't find it. It landed in my bed and I couldn't find it. And I had to f try to convince myself to fall asleep with this bug crawling around in my, in my bedding. And then, I don't know what happened today. I did something, f took a sweater off and a bug fell from my hair onto my shirt and I screamed. <clears throat> I flung it off, couldn't find it because I was going to take it outside. So I know there's bugs crawling around and I have to try to ignore that. Because if I think about it, you know, it creeps me out. I noticed <clears throat> three bees got into the bathroom this, this summer. Uh, three bumblebees in the bathroom and you know yesterday late night late last night I thought okay well I'm gonna sleep hopefully I'll f sleep four hours tonight and tomorrow I will go on a search to I just counted there are 16 windows in this house and two doors and then there's the dryer vent and a few other vents. So like that's a job inside and outside trying to figure out, you know what? I don't even think I slept three hours. This is how things pile up and how things get bad and, you know, things get left undone and... I couldn't really even do the necessities. Uh, cooking is just too much. Too much to stand and cook. I'm in so much pain today. And it's it's like I, I slept less than three hours. I'm sure I did not even get three hours. I don't really even remember how good I felt yesterday other than I felt good. I don't really remember. So I'm going to watch my video. I'm kind of scared because I'm scared I'm going to be bawling. I run on hope and nothing more. I've got an advocate that's trying to fight for me, that is fighting for me. That's the only thing that is keeping me going right now. Today's, is today Thursday? Sunday is Thanksgiving. That, you know, that brings hard feelings. I wish I could buy a Thanksgiving meal somewhere. I have no oven. I, you know, I 
even if I had a turkey, I have no oven. I'm really too ill to stand to make a nice meal, to stand and cook that long. Uh, I can't go in a restaurant because I don't have a vaccine pass. I don't have a family. Uh, I have three family members here in town, and they go, all get together. I have been, you know, uh, thrown out of the family nine years ago. I stopped getting invited to everything. I had the family over numerous times. My place, most, uh, the family gathered most at my place, other second to mom's. And I fed everybody time and time and time again. And I have been uh, kicked out of the family. And they pretend they don't get together and they, they uh, it's all just dysfunction, right? So, I mean, I'm too sick to make a new tribe. I'm too sick to, you know, I'm, I'm so ill and I can't get anywhere. I can't, you know, so it's going to be tough, a tough weekend. Cause of course, if I'm outside, people will ask me, Oh, Hey, like a few neighbors will still chat you know, say hello if they, you know, can't avoid me if they're face to face and we're walking down the street. They'll say, hey, what are you doing for Thanksgiving, blah, blah, blah. You know, all the small chat. It's, you know, what do you tell people? It's hard. It's hard, you know. But I'm not going to lie to people anymore, you know, because uh, that, you know, so I really don't have a family uh, to speak of. That's not a family. Uh, I think my sisters headed that up all all the time. Now they're targeting another sister of mine. I don't have anything to do with them, any of them anymore. They're targeting another sister of mine, and. Well, it's, uh, I, I don't understand how people's heads work like that. I don't do that. I don't play, I, I don't do the game. I've never been good at the game or interested or, um, that's not okay with me. Whether I'm the target or somebody else is the target, I'm not partaking. Uh, you know, it's, it's people who do that, like to, people who instigate that, uh, their heads work in a way that mine doesn't. I'm too tired to even talk about any of it. I'm just, a, I could fall, could, could fall over. And then there's always the fear of, you know, I don't want to go to bed too early because, then I'll wake up in an hour and then I'm screwed for the night, right? Then I'm all mixed up and um, my body thinks it's done sleeping for the night. Yeah, I'm, I'm blown away because you know what? I was telling myself not to get excited. Don't think you're going to sleep four hours. Don't bank on it. And I can't prevent myself from thinking that way and sure enough I did I I really it's this is hard it it is hard to be alive I'm not gonna lie uh the pain the pain everywhere is just unbelievable I don't understand any of this <sighs>